You're still watching Ways. Now, today is Easter Sunday. The real meaning of Easter is the resurrection of Jesus Christ from the dead. To Christians, it is the most special day of the year. Yes, the birth of Christ is quite important, but his resurrection offers the hope of everlasting life to everyone. So, happy Easter again, everyone. Mm -hmm. Happy Easter. <laughs> happy Easter. This was really quiet. This but it, it, it didn't, it didn't um, well, a lot of people maybe didn't eat the normal Easter chicken, but I did have the normal Easter rice. Well, yeah. I made vegetable soup. A, a pot of stew and rice and beans. We did chips, potatoes. Wow, it's a party. It was a party. I should have been to your yeah, no, social, social distancing. Yeah. Please, let them not come arrest me. <laughs> but you know the funny thing? I think um, they were, uh, I was watching CNN this morning mm -hmm. and you're talking about the Pope breaking um, the, the rule of how many years now, I cannot remember the number of years, he did the the service live, yeah. you know, he streamed live to about 150 million Catholics all over the world. I think whether we like it or not, we just have to embrace what we have, you know, at this point. Mm. We can't do traditional anymore. No. With even religion, we can't do traditional anymore. I think this is definitely going to change the world. I'm just not sure how It has changed exactly. the world. It's not even with, yeah. All right, so okay, that's the video, yes. <laughs> you know, it has changed the world because this has never happened in the history of um, Catholics, you know, that nobody's inside that church and they... Mm. And yeah, there's the, there's the Easter service going on. I, I think whether we like it or not, the world has changed as we know it. So yeah. we have no choice than to embrace that change. All right. So lady, Sensei, what did yeah. you find for me? Okay. Well, um, apparently Lagos so far has 70 cases, uh, 70 recovered cases, That's which fantastic. is great news. That is as of today, Sunday. However, medical expert in Abuja, Dr. Arun uh, Bala, Balaganga, he's Indian, I think, um, um, had to inform us that people who have been, um, who have tested negative to uh, COVID-19, that you should go on to take precautionary measures. Because in, in Wuhan right now, there is like new, 62 new cases mm. of uh, coronavirus, and a few of them have had it before. So this is not like Ebola or chicken pox or measles, that once you have it, you're immune to it. No, there are chances of catching it again. So I actually yeah. even saw on um, Plus TV Africa yesterday mm -hmm. on the Instagram page, they actually um, stated there, I think about 17 people that had tested negative, mm. now test positive again for the COVID-19. So, I mean, it's something that yeah. we'll keep on because everybody is, this is quite new. So everybody is trying to understand. Scientists are all over the place trying to study. Yes. So as it continues to develop, we would also keep following up on mm -hmm. that. Um, so my story is quite um, um, a very, very, like all sad or very troubling one, I would say. Yeah. Um, so I, I went on Twitter and Twitter, um, there's Lagos trending, there's Ogun State trending and there's Ibadan yeah. trending unrest, you know, in Lagos, Ibadan, and Ogun State. So mm -hmm. um, they, there are strong allegations that people have been going all over the place, robbing people and threatening to rape girls and women, oh, you know, yeah, especially in Ibadan. So they, I think some residents actually were forced to come out of their homes to start um, 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 almost like a campfire to watch the, their houses ov overnight, you know, oh and goodness. some bandits were caught. I saw some very gory pictures, and I don't think, you know, it was quite bloody. Some some bandits were caught in Ogun State, you know, mm -hmm. some also, you know, so, but they are calling on SARS saying that, okay, now we truly need the special anti robbery squad, you know, not, not just going all over the place trying to arrest people that claim they claim to have. Uh, links with um, the internet fraud and all of that. So, yeah. I mean, um, this is quite troubling because even while I was coming to work on Friday, mm -hmm. taking through the Babbage Road to come to the office, I noticed some boys had come out and they had barricaded the road. So when they oh, did wow. that, you know, when you get there, they now like, you know, almost hail like hail you, you, you to give something. them um, like tape and all of that. So, you know what I thought, told myself, I said, oh, wow. so what if they get to that point where they get frustrated, nobody's giving them money. They can actually rob you. So I just decided, you know what, I'm not taking that route anymore. I'm going to take mm -hmm. the, the other route to the office instead of, you know, going through that route. Because I'm the only one in the car, I'm a woman, and these are like, you know, these are the boys that normally would collect money from the Babbage tolls and right. all of those, those, those um, 
freaked out. You know, yeah. they're looking really scary. So I said, you know what? I, um, the lockdown is bringing a lot of things. And mm. some people are claiming that even these guys in Ibadan, they are cultists. Mm. It is not because of the lockdown. That's why, they, because Ibadan has not even started any lockdown. Mm -hmm. You know, so imagine if they now start a proper lockdown, what would now happen to these people? That some of them are cultists and they've caught some of them and they uh, saw some weapons in their hands as well. So we'll just yeah, continue well, to follow up on the story. Yeah, yeah. a couple of people um, are actually calling out to the federal government that he should not extend the lockdown because of reasons like this. Hunger is a huge trigger. One of them being Chief Onitiri, he said that um, extension, extension of lockdown might lead to aggravated aggression, born out of hunger and immeasurable suffering by masses. And we're looking at that playing out. So it's, it's a bit dicey to extend or not to extend. And there was also a report that some guys, um, some people just attacked a full truck load, lorry load of um, yams. They went oh, and wow. they just, you know, <laughs> I mean, if I'm going to go and attack a truck carrying yams. Hunger is no man's friend. That's it. I mean, the federal government, if we're going to have have extended lockdown, the federal government needs to intervene. This is not to find what we read. Way, in, yeah, yeah, find a way to get food. And please, to not people. five cups of rice, no, please. No, find absolutely a way to get not. across to these people if we want to be safe. Absolutely not. All right, so we're talking 5G today, like well, with, like earlier said. And our guest, um, Wale Abu, will join us right after the break. Please stay with us. We'll be right back.